welcome to this course of steel structures. In this lecture, I will introduce steel structures. Here are the books and code which we follow for the steel structure design. That is AISC 360, American Institute of Steel Construction. Specification you can also download from this website. Second is Steel Structures book by Zahid Ahmed Siddiqui and by Ashraf. LRFD steel design aids that we use for the designing of steel members like tension member, compression member, steel column, steel beams. So for that we need LRFD steel design aids. The other book that is Unified Design of Steel Structures by Lewis. So these are the books that should be uh, with you for, the, for this course. Introduction to Steel Structures Steel structures are assembly of structural steel shapes joined together by means of riveted, bolted, bolted or welded connections. Okay, here uh, see the example. Here are the steel sections. Here is the I section, hollow rectangular section, angle section, channel section, hollow pipe section, solid uh, circular bar and rectangular bar section. This is a stirrup of steel and here is the bolted connection here you can you are seeing the bolts nut and bolts that is the bolted connection here is the riveted connection the hot uh, hot or molded steel uh, pass through these holes and then by a machine or by hammering rivets are made the third connection type that is the welding for the connection between the steel members we use welding so now i will go back so that is the definition of steel structures selection of a section out of those available in the market for example in the in, in the market if i section or w section are available and uh, other sections are not available uh, like c section or angle section then we design our structures based on the sections available in the market. Uh, the third point that is the concrete structures are easily joined together by monolithic constructions means the bars of one member steel bars of one member goes to another for the monolithic construction of concrete members. But in steel structures that is different. Special methods are required to join individual members for steel structures like three methods riveted, bolted and welding connections. Okay, uh, hot roll sections I have already discussed. Why this, these, these are called hot roll sections because uh, the molten steel are molded into the molds then these sections, these types of sections form means uh, the whole the molten steel mold molding molded into the molds and then these sections is formed that is called hot roll sections okay these are the connection types okay uh, uh, for the connection the material used that is a uh, bolts nut and bolts rivets and welding these three main types of connect uh, connecting uh, for the connection of uh, steel members are used. Coal farm sections. Coal farming is a process where light gate steel members are manufactured by rolling or shaping the steel after it is cold. This process makes the steel stronger. Here, example C. In the coal farm sections, a, a, a roller of steel, uh, steel uh, uh, steel stirrup is passed into the machine that is the hydraulic brake machine or the press brake machine then after pressing we make different type of sections this uh, this is not the hot rolled uh, hot rolled sections these are cold farm section means after the uh, when the section is cold or in the normal temperature then the steel is passed into the machine then by pressing the machine the new sections are formed here you can see new sections. These are very light gate steel. Okay, the one example you uh, you may have seen the framework uh, for the doors uh, that is also made of uh, core farm sections. Here is an example of steel structure framework: beams, columns. Okay, uh, column, beam, 
and for the uh, extension of the building to the upper side uh, a connection is left okay this is the example of steel structure here is the connections okay uh, you can see the uh, beam is connecting to the column again uh, there are two beams are connecting to one column here again beam is connecting to the column here you can see the modeling uh, in the software beam column and bolted connection and we can also design the steel structures in the softwares uh, there are a lot of software available in the market steel construction is being used for almost every type of structure including multi-story buildings bridges industrial buildings towers uh, petrol pumps lot of uh, on sites different uh, steel construction is used there are two main categories of steel structures one is framework or skeletal system or second is shell system i will discuss one by one first of all framework or skeletal system the main load carrying elements in this type are one dimensional or line elements such as beams columns etc forming two dimensional or three dimensional frames you are seeing beams and columns are connecting and forming the structure this is called framework or skeletal system examples of this system is multi story buildings large halls like marriage halls or uh, student gathering halls function halls and dorms etc highway and railway large span bridges towers all structural components of hydraulic works all other truss member and rigid uh, rigidly uh, connected frame structures in the truss we have tension member compression mem compression member all are line elements the framework of industrial buildings with their internal members such as crane girders platforms etc in the industry we may have seen the overhead crane uh, for the lifting of heavy elements from one side to another side the the girder used for the cranes that are also made of steel and it is also type of uh, framework or skeletal system the second type is shell system the main load carrying elements in the category of structures are plates and sheets beside some skeletal elements uh, sometimes uh, skeletal members are also introduced for example one vertical member and one horizontal member crossing uh, can also be used in the shell system but the main element is the shell system examples are gas tanks for the storage and distribution of gases uh, tanks and reservoirs for the storage of liquid you uh, may have also seen the overhead water tank that are made of steel uh, uh, you can see around that are different locations installed bins and bunkers for the storage of loose loose material for for example for grains for uh, for wheat uh, etc different types of food okay and uh, another type of shell system that in the petrol pumps for the storage of oil uh, in the underground large uh, storage tanks are developed uh, or constructed for the storage of oil special structures such as blast furnace furnaces air heaters etc large diameter pipes all other plate and shell structures are the type of shell systems here you you can see the examples of the uh, steel structures freedom of ex expression you can see this is a tree type of structure uh, this is looking so beautiful uh, you can see the central steel uh, that can be molded into any direction and one beautiful function uh, beautiful property of the steel structure that is steel structure is strong in compression and strong in tension and that can be molded into any direction you can see the beauty freedom of expression here creativity that can you easily develop with the help of steel structures again the creativity of steel structure you may also see on the news uh, or in the social media their stadiums that are made of steel structures they look too good similarly easily extension for example if you need an upper story you can easily weld the lower story to the bottom one uh, that is too easy for the extension of the story easy fixing of facade facade for the ex uh, exterior or the covering 
uh, the internal body of the structure, we apply the uh, material to cover the members. So that is called facade or you can say cladding. Uh, the other name of facade that is cladding. Uh, so here you can see easily you can uh, connect or weld with the existing members. Here one beautiful example again of steel structure, easy and efficient fabrication. If you imagine this same structure, this large span structure, if we build with concrete, then we need heavy uh, concrete slab, heavy beams, lot of labor, or you can say a lot of machinery. But with the help of steel structure, we can achieve large spans. Okay, the common example of large spans in our uh, daily life that are marriage halls, that are long spans, okay the exp express function okay that is again very good example of steel structure building large spans of stadium again the large spans you can see this is a too big hall without any column inside no limit of architectural design that the architecture can make uh, any shape for the creativity and to inspire their clients. No limits of architectural design. Here, one in this in this slide, you will see the uh, the advantage of steel structure. Next time, I will be a structure. Means the after this, we can uh, recycle this material and make the structure. That is recycling of steel structures is one of the uh, one of the you, you can say unique property of steel structures slender columns more space you can see slender columns okay and uh, they can easily withstand and the steel structure why the upper portion is lightweight so lighter members uh, can cover the uh, the design adequacy here transparency you can see uh, with the help of steel structures uh, in between the uh, members of the steel structures uh, we have provided the structural glass so that you can see the transparency we can use we are using the light visible connections here you can see the connections for the elements here is a, a zoom picture of the connection Weather independent construction, that is again very beautiful property of the steel structures that when we go for construction of concrete structures in the cold weather, we face a lot of issue like our concrete uh, when we go for construction under minus degree, our concrete do not harden. Okay, and do, uh, do not uh, get its uh, strength uh, due to the cold weather issues so but in the steel structures we also overcome this weather issues 